This is Julie with Texas Shutter Biz on Facebook and Keeping It Real with Randy and Julie on YouTube. Today we're at a house here in Plano, Texas. Um, the customer, she was going to paint the house all white because the house is pretty plain, but her husband talked her out of it, so we're just adding black shutters. They already painted the trim black, so we're adding black shutters to give this house some curve of feel and a little facelift. So, um, Stay with us so you can see what it looks like after we put the shutters and stuff on. Um, we use cedar shutters because cedar is the best uh, for outside. Some people want that more modern look so they'll use pine. And with pine you gotta paint on the inside, not the inside, but the front and the back. With cedar you don't have to do that. You just gotta make sure you paint on the front side. But it's good for, you know, bugs and weather and stuff like that. It's what most fences are made out of. So, um, Anyway, Tristan is putting the shutters up now, and I'm going to uh, help him. So just stay with us. Hey, Bonnie. Okay, we got that set on. Um, Tristan drills with a cement bit into the, the brick and not the, the grout lines itself because the mortar and stuff, it's better to do it inside the brick because it holds better. But some of the newer brick, they flake and stuff, so sometimes you might have to use a little plastic thing to hold your screws. But most of the time, just doing what Tristan's doing, just drill the hole and then put your cement screws through their little blue screws um, for that. So you can see how it already has changed the looks from just boring to added a little bit of a facelift. To me, it's like putting eyelashes on women. You know, their face could be just blocked and they put eyelashes on it's just like oh my gosh beautiful and that's what i always say about um shutters it just adds something and it adds value to your home too see how that looks see how that looks just wait till he finishes that talk Okay, now see how it has just popped right now. I was telling the homeowners those little diamonds. So right there, she should paint black. I think that would make it like really, really pop and like on the octagon. If she did all those black, I think it would just make it. But remember how the house was so boring and now we added eyelashes to the house and it just made it pop and it made the value of the home go up. So, yes, you want to make sure, like, when shutters, when you put shutters on, you don't want it to go, like, she has the trim, the brick trim that sticks out. She could go, and some do, go all the way to the very top of the trim and all the way to the very bottom, but I don't advise that. I think shutters should look like if they were real working shutters that you should be able to close them on the house. So you want to measure when you're putting shutters on from the top to the bottom. And uh, what, Tristan? I don't want to measure your brick. Somebody came out here and measured from this to the top. They had they even only went through right here. Yeah. That's going to be way below your window. Right. So you want to. When I measure my shutters, I don't touch the outside of the window ever. I go straight to the inside. Measure it just like that. Right. Because you want the shutters to look like if they were working to close on the window. Yeah. If it went above that, it would look funny. Some people do, but I, I just wouldn't advise it. And cedar is so popular right now. Everybody's adding cedar to something to give it that, that little that, that little extra um, curve appeal. But I don't like the plastic shutters. They crack. They fade. They're ugly. <laughs> They're ugly. So we try to do the... Um, you got plastic shutters on your house. Sorry, bug, but your house is ugly. <laughs> He didn't mean that, y'all. <laughs> but it does add more value to have the cedar shutters. 
Um, you do have to stain just like you would anything else, just some maintenance. Um, when they start looking a little faded, just put another coat or you can even spray them with a sealer to keep the color and stuff. This uh, customer chose black, which is an ebony stain. By Ready Seal, yes. Um, yes. No, I'm not YouTube Live. I'm just doing a video for my customers and my friends and my family. So if you have a house that needs shutters, give us a call. Again, um, if you go on um, YouTube under uh, Keeping It Real with Randy and Julie, we, uh, if you like and subscribe, please like and subscribe and we give you 10% off. Our shutters are $68 a set. Um, and then you, we charge for install and then we charge for painting and stuff. Our install is like if you have a one story, it's $58 flat fee. If you have a two story, it's a little bit different. Usually we charge $50 per window, but we can work with people. Let me see, what else can I say? Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video just to see the transformation that it did. Like it was, it was a boring house and now it has some curvature. When you walk by, you're like, oh, that's a pretty house. And they're doing a lot of stuff on the inside of this house. Uh, we put some barn doors up about an hour ago on the inside and now we're uh, doing the shutters on the outside. Very nice family. I just wish I could do something with that porch. It's just that she doesn't have enough space on her windows. And if those are big windows and you put a little bit, really it would only hold one board and to me that would look funny. But I wish she could do something, but I don't know. I don't know what she could do right there. <laughs> what did you say? Smash that like button. Yeah, smash that like button, please. not so hot out here right now. It's a little bit in the shade and stuff earlier. It was like steaming hot. Like yep. Yeah. I was telling everybody watching that it was like, um, can't hear me. It was like putting eyelashes on women. Pretty? I like how it really goes with that black trim up top. I don't get to enjoy it until I step back and look at it because I'm the one doing it, but it looks pretty good. And you built them? Yeah. Built them, stained them. Installed them. them. Yep. One man band, man. I was telling them, don't you think those little uh, concrete diamonds would be pretty black? Either black or we buy them and we paint them white so they stick out more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they are a little pretty. But I was hoping we could do something over here, but there's no room at all. Okay, so that's just one house that um, I wanted to show y'all the before and after. Um, you've got to know that it just made this house just come to life. It's really, really pretty. If you look on my uh, Texas Shutter Biz, you can see the before and after pictures, but you can see this video. I think I got some right before and then after. So anyway, like and subscribe to us. I'll have some more videos of barn doors and shutters and baby and pet gates coming. So um, I hope you enjoyed those videos on how to make and install shutters. So like again, like it and subscribe to it. Thanks y'all so much. Bye.